Hello and welcome to my programming session developing my own product name Pocket Manager Agile FX application. Use of all Java FX application for managing XML files. So, if you are up for the first time, this is a second programming session for my project. Uh, I am developing in TDD style. You're looking at my pom.xml file. This is a Maven project. If you will, if you would like participate at my project, you can find it on GitHub. I provide link to my to my video. You can find it there. So as a proof that is project which is covered by the tests, I just started my building process, and you see clearly now it's test. Uh, now it's executing my tests. I see clearly that I'm passing my tests. From my last session, I described that I need to refactor some code. And here we go. So here is my code of my class. And I wish to refactor some code. From this code, I wish to... I would like to edit this part. This is actually actually not so good. This line. Um, why you say? I would prefer to use a getter, and it should me give some get get j dem j dom doc, and there I will check my so I need to I wish to make my code cleaner so all right um, I need to test my code after refactoring you see all test passing through so just to recall what I did in my last session, let me go to my browser view. Okay, just need to find okay the whiteboard. So last time I created a class for reading XML and creating JDOM document reading XML from from XML file and, and creating JDOM document J JDOM document will consist <laughs> consisting uh, a structured information from X from the XML file which I read. So I have one class, actually, not no. this class, uh, as I understand, is my development idea should be developed further. But I have some considerations, and now I'm just talking this consideration considerations through. So this is a, my set set file which I use to read. From, from my class. Sorry for my uh, signing um, drawing. Um, but to get an understanding in which way I go, I need to draw some model models. So anyway, this is where I am. I'm sending. I'm reading XML file and parsing the XML file and creating JDOM document. Now, what we have here, it's kind of interesting situation because I have three files which I actually must read from. And when I create for, for each of these files a separate class, 
this will be not so good from the design point because my first idea was to create a class for each of the XML files for reading them so what I should do next what should I do next I will go to my document and just rename it to sat XML uh, to just XML reader. Basically, basically an idea which I have will be like like following. Uh, let me have a forms. I have here forms. So I have an a utility class which reads XML and converts it con converts it to JDOM document. After this, I have now a new idea uh, to transfer uh, the information which I read from which I read and convert it to following classes this will be probably this I think I think what I'm trying to tell that I will create models a model for for satellite a model model for let me just a model for services and a model for buckets buckets sorry a model for buckets and it should it should really uh, should be like the, like it should function like this the read XML file it calls it loads it loads XML data I will So let me just think it through. So here I have XML file, XML file which I load. I load an XML file with a with this class, and then I create JDOM document. A DOM document. Um, so, buckets, models, and services models class classes they they should access this uh, read XML file when they have a need. Who decide actually when it when one of the class have a have a right to read the information interesting interesting question but i think but i think i will do following i will rename the class which i have created to the xml reader to make it um, some sort of abstract, but not abstract in the in the sense of Java. Uh, this is a real util class which I use to extract the information from the XML. And what should read XML give away? It should read the contents of the JDOM document and send actually 
actually I will do even simpler I just send back a JDoc document JDOM document each each for each of these classes so once again I have a class which read the XML file after that he creates a JDOM document a JDOM document consists a tree structured representation of the read uh, read it of, of the file which he it has uh, already read so I just to be more precise what I should do I will switch back to my Eclipse so this is of course not good naming but first of all I change the name of our test because it is important to keep on both sides the cleanness so I will rename my my test name test class name uh, as following read read XML and create JDOM document test so now I precisely know what what should I do next so clearly it has better name and now I of course I need to rename the methods name method names and so on class of course I need to change the class name so I have a test and now I'm still in refactoring phase I, I did uh, I did uh, I did uh, explain that I wish I have a wish to change the file surely surely I need to later to be pro actually actually I need to test the reading operations with different kind of XMLs which I have in my project so this is not a problem so we have my class which has a name set XML reader what I need to do first of first of all I change the name of the class I changing the name of the class XML reader and JDOM creator JDOM document creator you will say some of the people say you don't need to name um, to, to, you don't you don't need to give such like um, you don't <laughs> you don't need to to take such large uh, names but I will say it's my project I have a, a, an expression to do to, oh, to do of my skills sorry <laughs> I today over meld a little bit from the previous work at my other another spring project from one from one of my clients so I will do my best with my speech um, so I have renamed this um, class which I should to test now you see I need to check if still if all tests still uh, actually running let us let me test my test if it's still okay so great it means that I can still uh, test my class um, let me set XML oh of course here is the name of my class so you see was 
simple move but in case of TDD it's quite interesting uh, interesting uh, step so now I have to check my XML file and this should work too and I need to look at at my variables name so now I wish to clean my code for example here refactor rename and I delete this part and right here j dom document to make it obvious what I what I have in my case I click enter Eclipse warns me about changes then I have to change here the name of the file uh, of the name of the variable name and then here once again refactor and I just I will probably won't change further any further changes so what I do I should do next uh, I should change the name of this method actually actually I need to look up this method and refactor we name and I need to change the name of this get j dom document result so it it should change this and you see I do it quite obviously without any headache because I know I have my tests and if I done something wrong then I will probably see it soon with my test so here for example I changing further cleaning further my oops cleaning further my uh, source code and here I need just to set j tom document result Okay, JDOM document result. Now let me look it up. So it's it is very important to do it right. It's very it's very important to do it right. Always care about uh, naming uh, of your variables methods and etc etc it's very important that you follow that you follow strict strict notation if you have if you have different kind of style guides then you should stick to something for one or, or, or two it's some projects there uh, no styling guides and I'm trying to be consistent with such project it's not always possible it's the rea reality of our things but this is actually looking good looking good now I need to look up set because okay you see I need to what I have what, what I have here org v3c dom document let me think about this is this right or not this was a problem at the beginning that I have two classes with the same name with the same name mm. let me think set the doc document Dom builder 
the parser. A new DOM document object. Alright, so as I continue further, I just need to rename it to DOM document. Refactor, rename DOM document. So I wish what I'm trying now currently now to reach I'm just trying to to, to make my class readable I mean you can actually it, it not needed to, to do things which I do but I prefer I prefer to do such things because I know that later the, the, the oops I need to do it back so later in the later phase of my project the naming will be uh, very critical so so it just it just caring about uh, people who will work with my code and read read my code and won't be convoluted or overwhelmed by the difficult or just complex or just not understand the the sense of my variables which i use because <laughs> you can use very very short names like uh, letters numbers things like that but the the people who will read the code after you, the maintenance people, they won't understand how what the code actually doing. So just care about your code, look up very good names, and make your class obvious. Make make them ob make um, make the class in such a way that people who actually do not work at this project will get a clue what the purpose of the of this class now I will just look up sat do I have sat anywhere no all right now I need to to make a test to to, to check it if I if some is something wrong no so you see with using of TDD you can easily refactor your code and be sure that nothing nothing uh, nothing was uh, broken or something is isn't good so all right now it's the point to think to be to go back to the drawing board uh, I'm going to the drawing board. So my class, which I have created, is a utility class. It reads a file, an XML file, and after that, he creates a document, a document, a JDOM document. And the problem is, I will. Just uh, make a, such um, easy presentation. So here is my XML file. Here is my class. Probably just just need to to write. It's my class, and I need to work further. I need to get this. Uh, this document it's some sort um, from design pattern it looks like um, factory factory because I'm building a document DOM document not not the JDOM but DOM do the document uh, let me look up in my code 
so I have JDOM document as a result actually uh, read DOM document Platoon has JDOM document root okay here I'm making sure that I have a, a, a JDOM document now we just need I just I just need uh, to make it sure okay now let me think for short for, for, for one or two seconds so I have my reader this reader creates a document and I need to be able I need to be able to write a class which take hold of this document so let us be let us be let us go further so we know uh, that it can read this satellite XML. Now let's test with the other file. Refactory name. And I just put here another file. Just to be sure that, make sure that I can read, then I can actually read other files. It works, alright? And if you don't trust me that I'm actually reading a file, let's make a failing test. I just change the name of the file. Now it should fail. You see it fails. So it's quite obvious that my test actually do the work which I expect from, from my testing procedure. So now I need to refactory name just need hold of another file and it should read all right it reads the file so no matter which it doesn't matter which xml file i put here it it should read it and it works so uh, this this future of reading file is complete i mean the basic step completion of the, of the i mean the completion of this basic step now let me create another test which should fail so i need to rename the package i think i will just util xml readers <laughs> so i did say that i have one reader i don't need many readers uh, just refactor rename util xml i will call this package utils simple like that and my test should pass okay nice simple like that so next phase next phase will be i need to create another i need to create another test test case jn test case and how I should name my test. Well, let look us at the board. This is currently what we have. We have XML file. It, this XML file, the class which I create, loads this XML file and creates DOM document, JDOM document. And after that, I need to pass this JDOM document to the 
to the class um, and it shouldn't matter which class I have so I have here three three classes and I should pass this document to each of of these classes and I will do this in such way then when my application completely when when the application when the application starts it calls this class which reads an XML for each of the three classes which I have as models so this actually happens I have like a template better to say this is my template and this from this template I create three objects and three and and this uh, and this each uh, <laughs> let me let me draw it another way so I have a class which instantiated which instantiate three classes uh, three three objects sorry uh, this reader objects I will just I will just call them R or or basically reader 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 this uh, three classes I can copy this right, fine okay so I have here reader one reader two reader three but the template for those readers are from the reader class which I had previously created and each reader object reads separate XML file and provide an a DOM object for special each of the special model. So this is my thinking thinking process. And let's back uh, let's back to the eclipse. Now we can now we can do our work further. So in Eclipse, you see I using new J unit Jupiter, and I call it um, what should I think um, sat set model set model test. Okay, so I wish to test a model for satellites. So, as I show you previously, it works the same way which it was previously. Basically, I need a test that show show me that I can create an object from for my met for my model so I just need to oh I need to re rename okay testing if XML reader object exists oh I, I forgot to refactor it but it's it's a good it's actually good a uh, good case you see refactor rename testing if xml reader object exists so i have here this and now i refactor i just forgot sorry i just forgot to to give a pro proper name xml reader object now it should work now this test should pass right okay this just worked so it was actually good example that you can that you should always refactor 
your code, your test code and always try to be clean. It's sometimes quite difficult if you have to work with mockups, but uh, what have you to do, you should do. So I'm taking this method and put it to my to my class. And of course I should uh, rename it because I'm testing not the XML reader object exist, but I'm testing if my uh, set set model object exists. And of course I need to put uh, my setup method before each. Uh, I probably should take this code and delete what I don't need. I don't need this. Mm, probably maybe later. Okay, and I do not need this. So how I should call it um, how I should call this object. I would call it set set model set model set model model set model set model object all right and i need to assign a value assign create an instance of set mo model object and i will do it like like so did I all right and of course I need to verify this test would fail because I did not create a set model let's test it all right I, I failed all right this is good so now I go to I take the class name I create a new package uh, wrong name <laughs> um, refactory name models so I create a package with models and my class would have a name set model all right so you see it's just simple like that so now i need to import and some people some people um, use shortcut control shift o but in my case i did set up my eclipse for control shift j j control shift j sorry it's j in, in german but anyway this should this code should work and i hope to see uh, some result all right it's working so now i have when I uh, start my POM Maven test, I should have two passing test cases. Let's look at it. Okay, I have first test case with three test runs and another test case with one test run. And you see build success all test pass and i should i did forgot to, to to tell at the beginning that using a tdd is not a show that you use that you create a proper data structure test driven development is a tool to be able to refactor your code at any time and for any circumstances circumstances and 
for any critical cases it's very good tool because each time when I refactor my my code I know that I will not have uh, any issues with with my code because I have my test which will show me that my code works as I as it should be as I expect that code should work so remember that um, so anyway it works I have my set model test working and now I need to start to think further so let me all right now what should I do as next test let's try let's try to call let's try to call a XML loader and and test if we can read some information from the DOM document which we are which we are getting so what we should what we what we actually needing we actually needing this we need this string path path to file and we need to initialize it I will prefer to read a satellite XML. Refactor rename satellite XML. All right, I'm reading this. I t I wish to read this file. So now I have this situation, and I write another test I write another test and this test what should it do so my sat model class his object should call uh, XML loader read XML loader object or better to say properly sat model should call an object from XML reader and I need a proof that is possible that is possible so I will say following testing testing if sat model can read a document dom dom a dom document okay so we expect an boolean result it's just I need to initialize it with false um, and I need to call actually actually I need assert equals Assert equals. So what we have here? I think I think assert assertions. I'm not sure that is uh, using from. Let me. Okay. Uh, let me just take a look, quick look at JUnit 5 API. I make assertions. Okay. Okay. Because I. In my time, I use a lot of a lot of um, tests from JUnit 4, and uh, sometimes I forget uh, that I have to do to work with assertions from JUnit 5. So next thing which I should put here: um, assert equals equals. Basically, I'm looking a signature which I can use for my things. Expected actual, expected actual, expected actual, expected, 
expected actual and error message I will just write here cannot read a DOM DOM document DOM DOM document like this so I expect a result which should be true and the actual result should be here and what I shall do next set model object set model object should have a method um, should have a method uh, read DOM document and read DOM document and it should have it should know ah of course of course I need I need to instantiate um, and uh, right now I know what I forgot to do I need the XML reader object to work with so I have the XML reader object and this XML reader object oh now it's very funny thing and um, I need to test I need to test uh, that I can that I can create an XML reader object with a constructor I need to test the constructor okay not a problem this actually good you see we're actually going somewhere with this so in the read XML and create JDOM document test I write uh, a method to test uh, to test test uh, XML reader constructor alright test XML reader constructor so what I should do I I need to I need to verify that my so that I getting uh, not now that I getting not now I need to verify that I am getting not now so I call I call my object XML reader object and passing through through this object a string so it gets it gets the string and next in the next step I need to be I need to make sure that XML reader object XML reader object XML reader and don't create object creates private uh, let's have it here string path to file And now I just I just need to create a constructor source uh, constructor using fields. I don't need this. I don't need this. Can exactly path to file. And I need to create getters and setters.
okay so as you clearly see as i progress uh, through through my project i step by step building the needed infrastructure but not in advance building in infrastructure in in, in advance i'm will 100% tell you that is a losing of your working time so so i have set on geta and i have a constructor all right nice so i just need to i just need to make sure that i getting something from this all right so i need to make it sure that i do it right oh i need to i need to a default constructor because it uses a default constructor not a problem at all just public name of the constructor and here you go here you have a default constructor so now i'm backing back to the test xml reader object how exactly it is not undefined uh, let me be let make me sure that i'm re using the right xml reader object so I mm, I'm just thinking through so basically he tell me I cannot all right so I will do the step in here so it means so it means that I need just to to do it this way all right so so all right so it was quick a little bit not understanding but not not a problem at all now now it's actually good because i have a clearly setup which sets up a path to xml file so i will do following and um, test xml reader constructor this is wrong name test xml reader path to xml file this is what i am actually willing to test and right now i need mm, okay i need to to get the path string string path actual actual path this is what i'm actually expect uh, no this is actually what i'm getting so i have this path get document uh, path to file so i'm just testing here the path to the i'm testing if i got the right path so assert equals and i need to make sure that i'm expect expect actual okay expect expected actual and message verifying checking checking if the path 
to XML is correct to a given XML is correct so actual path I need to compare with the path to file all right and I need my assertions now it should now it should work so I just want to repeat what I have done um, during my uh, testing of my second class I discovered that I need to actually uh, test the setting of my of one of my variables in my read XML class not a problem at all so I think this should work let's look at it and you see it passing through so let's just make a simple verification of my understanding so when I when I will okay I need to do following XML reader object and let me do that way this is always fun to test so this should fail definitely oh okay I probably probably wait a second so you see I I forgot to to check it out I need to in order to make it fail I need to get the new state of the object now it should fail yes so you see it clearly shows me that I'm doing the right job and I'm on the good path and another test working pretty well all right so I did pass this test case and now I set up my so I now now I'm done with this test and now I can switch to my test which I actually uh, did try to, to do so now what we have here uh, our sat met model object calling calling a read DOM document and we're getting the path and we expect a result which should be a boolean expression boolean value so checking all right so now I need to do a refactoring at my SAT model and you, you as clearly see here that read DOM document do not have any I mean SAT model test do not have SAT model SAT model sorry don't have any methods so I have here a method public read DOM document and this read DOM document should have string input path and wait a second I forgot to do it right so now I have a boolean boolean s value which I should send back and here what we are doing actually is very simple um, before I uh, actually 
it should be actually simple so I need to create an object from this from my class I will just give a, an object for the name XML reader new and and give a path which I got from which I got from which I later probably will get from the graphical user interface or for set it, setting up path, paths doesn't matter so I just need to import okay th so now we getting through the meat so actually I should tell you what just happening XML reader and all and JDOM document creator he gets the the string uh, from this class from this object from the sat model and now I should exp I should call a method which gives me a JDOM or DOM document so let's see what we should actually call to be to make it to make it show that we are getting what we needing so let's look up at our XML reader and JDOM document creator now now I have here read DOM document as JDOM document root alright so I need Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I know what I should do. I need to get this uh, this method uh, this this variable has JDOM has JDOM document root. Uh, okay, read DOM document. This is method actually for checking purposes. If I need, if I need to make, if I, if I need to be sure that I actually have a JDOM document, and or then 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 it's okay. But where I'm setting up, I setting up here gate get document from DOM parser so so it needs to be done in such a way that I need to call this method I will call I will call this method from my XML reader with a given path oh. let me think it through ah I don't need it I don't need to repeat it myself here because I just need to call to call XML reader and, and to ask him you got the path and get path to file xml reader and of course i will get some value boolean boolean value i will say xml reader status alright so and now I just need to check it out if I was successful or not return 
false and then here just to check if xml reader status is true then return true all right so what we have here for a problem let's look it up all right i need to to make it sure that it is that it's throwing some of uh, exceptions and to make it to make it prettier i need to group factor extract method so here i will use private method and i, I will name it mm, check if xml reader no what we actually uh, check if xml we actually testing here we actually not testing before we, we need to know we making our decision if we if we got a JDOM document. Check if J document was created. Created because because uh, this uh, method get DOM document from parser. It creates DOM document, and if this method give us uh, false then it means that he didn't create he did not create any any method uh, any document sorry so we just need here i need we need here to try and catch in this case try and catch uh, so it asks us initialize a value okay not a problem so now we have here such situation oh okay so i don't need this i don't need try and catch here let's test it out oh oh no <laughs> So I need here to try and catch. <coughs> mm, I don't understand why clips doing such way. I will read document ah because I because I'm let me just think clearly so I'm throwing an exceptions and I need to catch it of course that makes sense so it should stay such way just eclipse doing making my life some someday difficult but many times it helps me a lot so let's just do some cleaning and test it out it should pass definitely it should pass in our sat model we making sure that we that we working with a jdom document and that like it here's lines wait a second wait a second ah i don't need this why it's here i don't understand so yeah it's sometimes with the formatting it's a kind of 
kind of problem but hope you understand what I'm doing so now now it should work and now I just call my test let's let's look at it yes it works so let me repeat again what I have done I initialized I, I created set model object and call at my set, set model object read DOM document method which I have written this uh, method read DOM document method uh, is needed to l to get actually access to the object actually yeah I'm getting uh, I, I'm uh, making sure that I can read from XML reader now I need to write a test where I am actually getting this document so let make it show that I can get actually this document let's make a test test void testing if set model can can I'm actually need to save the the JDOM document in my class testing if that model can save document JDOM document JDOM or just DOM document so I'm doing for as following as following I expect a clear result which can be false but I need to let me okay now I just need to get hold of the object so I need to be able to read from it um, all right I need to call my sat model object let make it show that I have let, let's make it show that I have enough files which I need so I have um, I need to save the DOM document which I get from the reader class which I have created now I just need to be to make sure that my set model can read it so I expect I use assert equals and I just need to click quick check expected expect actual expect actual and string so what I have what my expectations um, checking if set model can save DOM document from XML reader this is my expectations and I just need to make sure so um, expected value so this should be like this boolean expected result I expect to get true but you you never know what you get in some cases so my actual result will should be determined by the method which I will now call so now I need to call a method um, from my class test model set 
set model class set model object set model object and I call from the set model object a method with the name save DOM document DOM document so expected result is should be true actual result should be we, we will <laughs> we will know later so save DOM document okay now I will go to my model object and need I need to write this method uh, let's use just eclipse function create method save doc, dom document in the type set model all right and now I need to get hold of And right now I need to get hold of my other class. So actually I I need to to be able actually when I read DOM document and I know Okay, so let's make here another another decision. So when the uh, so if XML reader status is true, only then only then I need to get hold of. Uh, of the DOM document object. So now we know that he that he read that XML reader read <laughs> that XML reader created uh, a JDOM object. And now we just need to get hold of this object. So I just probably need to look up our XML reader object look up where I'm creating the object JDOM document result get JDOM document result so I know this is what I get set model I'm calling this method from our XML reader And it should be JDOM document. And I need, of course, here private. And I need, of course, here JDOM document result. Let me let me this. And I will give it an and I will give it uh, another name not this name uh, how I should I put it so this is where I am here I need to make an assignment so I need to think clearly and I will call it following set j dom document set j dom document because i need i <laughs> i will get this class the set model class getting an actual xml satellite xml document so here i just uh, need to make it sure that i'm reading right so I need I 
I need getter some setters. Getters and setters. All right, and I'm setting up the document set set J dome. Ah, I forgot to write this. Uh, this set J dome document, and I'm setting up so clearly this method do I need to refactor it one two three four okay I will just do this read DOM document all right so it's clear what I'm trying to do save DOM document and here I just need to check mm. so you see I need to make a proper uh, proper names for my methods because here I'm actually setting up my 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 my, my object so this should work And I need just make it sure, make it sure I need to check if DOM, do, DOM document is set up. I just uh, rename it. And here, I rename it here like this. And here I need to rename my, I need to rename my test. If set model set model DOM document set up set up all right so now I can now I can make it sure so if and else here so I'm will I just call this get get sat JDOM document and Now I need to make sure how I will do it. Probably I will do has has root has root has root element true return true else return false. All right. So you see. I am establishing some sort of things which I am doing here and this code become becomes some sort structure but I think I am ready to pass the test because of all of our previous moves so let us just execute Jini test oh Null point exception. This is interesting. Ah, I'm no, I know, I know, I know. Check if DOM document set up because <laughs> before I do this. I need to take consideration that I checking the status of some um, of some variable in object but I need to initiate the object that means 
that I need actually to call the setter. I need to call the setter. Try and catch. And I will do this in one in one move here like this. And I need to declare declare this like following. So it should work uh, because once again, this is uh, what I like about unit test because it move you very in very good steps. So I need to set up my object and I expect that my variable actually set up so in such way I will make I make sure I will make sure that I am doing right maybe when I pass the test I will refactor set model code because I'm not I'm not satisfied with the state of my code in set model. So I'm actually like let make me sure set model pass. I'm actually I'm actually passing the test. Nice. Let me just test all test from Maven. Run as Maven test. Now it, it executes this test, right? I all my tests are passing through. This is good. So I'm actually doing some work and passing my tests, and this is quite a fun. So I know it's almost an hour. I I try to manage my time at my work for this project so what we need to do what I wish to do right now I need to make my code cleaner so what I should put here so we in this method read DOM document with we are not only reading we are actually setting up so we should read and set up because it's quite obvious what we are doing here. We're setting up here uh, our object. And of course, we need to rename our test. I mean, the method which we are. No? Did I did some wrong? Maybe wait a second. read and set up document let's look at what I have broken read DOM document read DOM document ah okay I have uh, two places where I need to rename it so here and here I need I just refactor it like like simple like this refactor uh, what I have here, refactor rename, 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 rename. Did he forgot to give me a renamer? Sometimes interesting in Eclipse. Maybe I just, oh, I just, I didn't, I uh, didn't mark it. Now I have, uh, now, now I can. No, he. Okay. Oh, strange. But not a problem. I just I know what I, where I have to do this work. And now I execute my test, and 
it should pass. Yeah, it's passing through. Um, great. So, I I think it's enough time. I just look up my uh, look up my set model object, and the next moves will be like. Now I can create another another classes set uh, service model satellite no satellite i have already satellite model now i i will create bucket model and services model classes and test them properly but i will do this in the next session do i need to refactor this class i'm not sure i will before i do my next procedures i will look it up once again because i think i did created some methods like check if dom document set up probably probably i should do it for private what have here okay just just small test ah right now now i know where i have to do this why i have to do this public let's put it back right okay not a problem so i'm pretty sure that i won't change here anything i just add a new stuff but it was very important mm, i will just express my feelings about how this project goes if i am go forward with my testing this will be quite a, a fun ride because next steps will be uh, after I created I have created my models. My models should be able to hold to save the data from the XML reader, and I need to structure the data. I need to think about in which collection. I will save the data from JDOM document, but this is uh, for the next sessions. L I will say this is, was like a preview announce, but I do not guarantee I will do this in the next session. Next sessions will be the work with for the mo models and testing, a lot of testing, but you see uh, the most important thing was to get done this read XML con concrete uh, stuff. But once again, I wish you all the best and till the next session. Bye bye.